This will probably be a very controversial video, but it has to be said. I am a huge, huge basketball fan. Let it be known clearly. When I started playing basketball, I obviously knew about Michael Jordan, but I never used to watch his clips, uh, you know, his uh, particular moves. Um, I remember playing a lot of basketball and people used to teach me how to, you know, drift, how to move, uh, all that. And then one of my friends actually said that there is a great compilation of Michael Jordan on YouTube. Go and check it out. And I looked at that video and I was totally mesmerized. The kind of movement that Michael Jordan had, it was simply angelic. And then whoever had made that video had, I think, put some... I can't remember the, that particular piece of music. It was a beautiful piece of music. And you know, the power of video and audio put together in great sync. And there were the, these great clips of Michael Jordan um, making a basket. And then obviously, you know, th that game winning shot, uh, I mean, all of that. So the legend himself. And for a long, long time, I used to think Michael Jordan is the player. But I remember when I was playing, so the whole so all the clips that i watched of michael jordan obviously i didn't watch the entire games but all the clips that i watched of michael jordan it was always about that he was dribbling moving around went in you know two three players crushing him and then he somehow will make the shot and obviously i tried to emulate but i failed i mean i wasn't playing at such a high level but still competitively among friends and school college etc so I tried doing that and I mean, I don't think I had the physicality, so I used to get tired, etc. So I found a way where, you know, I would find an open spot and I would quickly take a shot and I worked on my shot making abilities more because I realized that, you know, I couldn't sustain running for a longer period of time. But then it opened other avenues that since I was taking the shot, I used to find those gaps where I could run. And then for a long period of time, I heard the debate about Kobe versus LeBron, etc, etc, etc. And then as it always happens, like in cricket. So cricket, I had a similar thing. Sachin Tendulkar fan for a long, long period of time. When he retired, I stopped watching cricket, didn't want to watch anything, even though there were greats like Dhoni, Virat, etc. And then when I heard about A.B. De Villiers, it reignited. I wanted to watch cricket again. Amazing player, A.B. De Villiers. I mean, someday we'll talk about him again. So yeah, so Kobe versus LeBron was happening. I wasn't that interested. I used to watch their clips and used to think that, okay, these are, these guys are playing great. And then I watched Steph Curry and it re reignited the passion of watching basketball. What an incredibly beautiful player. And I think around just before I discovered Steph Curry, I discovered Will Chamberlain. I watched some of his older clips and I think Bill Russell, there's a video of Bill Russell describing Will Chamberlain incredible video that one is where he talks about how Will Chamberlain was built different and just an incredible freak of nature physically and the game sense that he had the kind of you know defenders at that time all of that so Michael Jordan already I was thinking that maybe he's not the goat maybe Will Chamberlain but obviously there's a lot of debate and you know the people are ferocious about it and then I discovered Steph Curry and I just fell in love with the game again and I think that's why the title of video of this video is uh, MJ is not the gold because I had fallen out of love of the game uh, of basketball and I never wanted to watch it again even though there are hundreds of Michael Jordan videos. I never went and watched it but then I saw Steph Curry. It was just beautiful. Like half court doesn't matter. He just throws it and it. And then there are a couple of you know amazing amazing shots some some from the stands some he's off balance and on one leg not looking took takes a shot from close to uh, the the half line and turns around before the ball goes in i mean just beautiful and the whole story of his father uh, playing basketball earlier he was visiting or sitting with him courtside etc all of that and then his story, I think 2012, 2011, 13, I think that period of time when he was getting injured, he didn't have the physicality and now he's like ripped and all. Beautiful. I mean, I've fallen in love with the game again because of Steph Curry and that's why I think MJ is not the goal. When I first saw MJ, obviously he definitely was because I think that was the period of time when I was playing myself and I just related to the energy of MJ. But now I understand this whole idea of not going in for the shot all the time and taking the shot from father. Beautiful. 
so Steph Curry for now, MJ is definitely not the GOAT. I think if you ask me, MJ definitely one of the GOATs. Uh, Steph Curry for me, Will Chamberlain for now. I mean, obviously, all the other legends, Kobe, LeBron, uh, Bill Russell. I mean, there are, there are so many here, you know, from different generations. Uh, they're all there. But, you know, these two guys, Will Chamberlain and Steph Curry, they, they, they have reignited my interest in the game. So that's why I say MJ is not the GOAT, uh, but who knows, I mean, MJ was incredible, what am I even saying? Let me know what do you think of the video, uh, how, uh, how closely do you agree or disagree with me, let me know in the comments. Uh, let's try and keep it civil and I'll talk to you more there. Take care, bye-bye.